My name is Faisal Fouhed, and I'm an 18-year-old Kuwaiti studying computer science at university. I've always felt uncomfortable with the idea that if you are Kuwaiti, you are automatically better than everyone else. I believe that although we may all look different, talk differently, or come from different places, ultimately we are all human beings, and we should treat each other as such. I want to fight the tendency I see in our country of judging people by their last name, nationality, or wealth. This is why I decided to create Equate, with the help of a few friends. We are a youth organization fighting against discrimination and promoting social equality and human rights through the use of social media and community service. One of our first activities as an organization was participating in the Spotlight Expo in November 2011. Our aim was to raise awareness for our cause and sign up Q-Heroes. Q-Heroes are dedicated youth who decide to take action and fight against the presence of racism, discrimination, and bullying in our home country by behaving as role models and educating people about these issues. Equate's second initiative was the Pink Friday Walkathon, which was held on December 2nd to raise awareness against bullying in schools. Participants were asked to wear a pink t-shirt to help challenge negative stereotypes and forms of discrimination. Our latest event was the I Respect Football Tournament, which was held in early February 2012 to promote equality and respect among youth in Kuwait through sports. All the teams were composed of players from different nationalities, demonstrating that through cooperation and team spirit, all differences can be overcome. My name is Faisal Fahid and I'm the founder of Equate. What Equate is basically all about is bringing human rights and equality in Kuwait. There are some main issue issues that we're focusing on right now. Like basically there are bullying and discrimination and human rights. Many people in Kuwait are not aware of what human rights are. Many kids in Kuwait are being bullied every day at school. Many people in Kuwait put, put name tags on other people. Human rights is a big matter in Kuwait because people are, are being treated not equally. Some, some, some nationalities are being treated unequal to other nationalities. For example, I saw a case where uh, a Syrian guy getting punched from a Kuwaiti guy. This made me feel sad, but he said to him sorry at the end, which means that Kuwaiti people have peace in their hearts and will always have peace in their hearts. Finalists, they perfectly showed what respect and equality means. <laughs> By having the three nationalities on, they went through it perfectly. They treated their teammates like their brothers, no matter what nationality, Canadian, Shamir. Uh, hold on, hold on. If you come from another country, we would really appreciate it if you can come down here and say this. You have to say your name and you have to say your nationality. One by one. Your name and your nationality. <laughs> what we're trying to do is community activities, social activism, to try and connect the community together and get them to enjoy themselves, but they have to see the bigger picture as well. What we're trying to achieve is human rights in Kuwait, and we can't do that overnight. We have to start small. Getting the community together. If we get them together, then we'll achieve greater things and we'll move on to bigger and better things. Our next event is Equate Modern United Nations, which is coming up in March 2012, and we hope it is as successful as all our previous events. Foreigners make up 69% of our country's population, and they will play an integral part in Kuwait's long-term future. We need to snap out of our tunnel vision and become more tolerant if we want Kuwait to be the best nation it could possibly be.